Money is a game, and with every game there are rules. Some just know how to play the rules better than others. Is this you? My name is Carmen. And I'm Darius. For the best infinite banking and financial advice, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notifications bell so that you're notified when we upload new videos. The difference between the rich and the poor is mindset and habits. These are two things that continue to separate our class systems. By the end of this video, you'll know three of the most important habits that you need to have to change your financial lifestyle. Habit number one, know your numbers. Rich people know the ins and outs of their financials. How? Because they look at their numbers regularly because they know the direction of their cash flow. On the contrary, broke people don't look at their numbers at all. They get paid and spend, 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 and don't even look at their bank statements. Mm -hmm. Now we're not talking about being frugal and obsessing over your numbers, we're talking about being aware. So what we want you to understand is that rich people are in control. They tell their money where it's going. Broke people are not in control because their money tells them where it went. Do you see the difference? It's really important to be in the know of your spending and understand the income that's coming in and how it should be allocated properly. Which brings us to habit number two. You've heard us mention this time and time again, which is rich people pay themselves first. So what you want to do is take a portion of your income every single time that you get paid and put it aside for yourself. Pay yourself 10%. Now 10% is a good place to start. As you continue to improve your financial lifestyle by doing rule number one, which is knowing your numbers, you're going to start attracting more money into your life, which means that you can continue to improve upon number two, which is putting aside more and more every single time that you get paid till you get to the point to where you're not only putting in 10%, but you work your way up to 10%, 20%, 30%, 40%, and you find yourself saving a lot more than what your expenses are on a monthly basis which puts you in a position to invest more, to save more, which allows you to have more control over your financial future than you've ever imagined. Now the key thing to take into consideration when we talk about pay yourself first, mm -hmm. we are literally talking about taking your income and setting it aside. Sometimes we allow our minds to trick us and think that, oh, we're gonna treat ourselves. We're gonna treat ourselves to a spa day. We're gonna treat ourselves to a haircut. We're gonna treat ourselves to a new pair of shoes. This is not paying ourselves. Mm -hmm. We wanna be really clear with that. When you buy a new pair of shoes, you're not paying yourself, you're paying Nike. Right. <laughs> when you treat yourself to a haircut, you're paying the barber shop. When you treat yourself to a spa, you're paying the spa. So again, these are things that you really have to make sure that you are clear on because when you spend money on other things, you're giving someone else your money. So when we say pay yourself first, you just move your income to another account so that you can say that you've actually paid yourself. Right, and we're not saying to not enjoy any of those luxuries, Correct. but we're just saying to if you put 20% aside to pay yourself first, do those things with the 80% that you're using to pay your expenses. Exactly. Comment below with the percentage that you're currently paying yourself. And check out our video, What You Haven't Been Told About Money, so that you can stay in the know and increase your financial literacy. Tip number three, improve your earning ability, AKA level up. Rich people don't allow their income to stay stagnant, and neither should you, because what this means is that you aren't growing. Rich people are continuously finding different ways to add value to the marketplace. Yeah. And when you add value to the marketplace, what happens? More money. More money. You continue to increase your income. So what I hope this is doing is adding some content to some of the things that you already know or some things that you want to continue to do or improve upon in your financial lifestyle. It adds some context to some of the things that we've heard in the past, like the average millionaire has seven sources of income. Well, that's because they're finding more ways to add value. That's the key to success, adding value. Now on the contrary, broke people are dependent on one source of income. So if emergency arises, they are scrambling to reduce their spending as opposed to figuring out how they can produce more to provide a better lifestyle for themselves. Those are the differences that we want to make sure that you understand because these are things that we've said time and time again, but we want to make sure that you are clear and have the clarity that you need to increase your financial lifestyle. So now that you know the three habits that rich people have, 
which are know your numbers, pay yourself first, and level up your income, we want to help you do the same. We've created a financial mastery course called The Money Blueprint. And in this course, we teach you how to obtain a millionaire mindset, manage your money, how the banks work, and how you can do infinite banking to keep all of your money and make money just like the banks. And we want to gift you with our first module absolutely free. So use the link below to get access to our first module on us. And also, if you want to join a community of individuals just like yourself, then join our Patreon community where we teach you all the up-to-date information you need to know about infinite banking to help you navigate through this sometimes tricky space. And if you like this video, let us know by liking it, subscribing to our channel, and sharing it with a friend. And don't forget, own your own lifestyle. Or someone else will.